Traffic management at the Southern Program Alliance is important for the safety of both our workers and the public. So please pay close attention to the following guides of the various traffic controls. Shuttle flow turns two-way traffic into alternating one-way traffic by closing one or more lanes. To do this, you need to take the following steps. Step 1. Set up the release speed on the sign and cover the speed reduction on the back of the sign. Step 2. Place the signage on the road in the order shown. Step 3. Implement the speed reduction displayed on the signage. Step 4. Traffic controller number 1 stops incoming traffic of the lane to be closed. Step 5. Traffic controller number 2 implements the lane closure by laying out traffic cones in the delineated work area. Step 6. Traffic controller number 2 stops traffic and begins shuttle flow treatment. Don't forget your escape route and that it can change regularly. A contraflow allows for two-way traffic operations in which one or more lanes are temporarily diverted or closed. Step 1. Set up the release speed on the sign and cover the speed reduction on the back of the sign. Step 2. Place the signage on the road in the order shown. Step 3. Implement the speed reduction displayed on the signage. Step 4. Traffic controllers delineate the lane furthest from the work area. In this case, it's the southbound lane. Step 5. Traffic controller number 1 stops incoming traffic of the lane to be closed. Step 6. Traffic controller number 2 delineates the lane adjacent to the work area. In this case, it's the northbound lane. Step 7. Traffic controller number 2 positions themselves and slows down traffic. Don't forget your escape route and that it can change regularly. Multi-lane contra flow applies the principle to two or more lanes of traffic heading in each direction. Step 1. Set up the release speed on the sign and cover the speed reduction on the back of the sign. Step 2. Place the signage on the road in the order shown. Step 3. Traffic controllers delineate the lane furthest from the work area. In this example, it's the northbound lane. Step 4. Implement the lane closure in advance of the work area. Step 5. Traffic controller number 1 stops traffic. Step 6. Traffic controller number 2 implements the lateral shift and continues the lane closure past the work area and positions a vehicle prior to the work area as a safety buffer. Step 7. Once complete, traffic controllers 1 and 2 slow both north and southbound traffic. Don't forget your escape route and that it can change regularly. Aftercare is the reduction of speed following roadworks to ensure new roads settle and extends the life of the new surface. Aftercare is to show there are roadworks ahead. Workers are not present, but there may be changes to the traffic conditions. Step one, change out the existing setup core flute signage to that of the aftercare signage. Step two, Traffic controller implements the lane closure or delineated work area by laying out traffic cones. Traffic controller rail PPE requirements include Navy with silver reflective cotton drill pants Special purpose orange long sleeve shirt with silver reflective Special purpose orange vest with silver reflective only no non-approved beanie or hoodie under hard hats allowed. Traffic Controller Nightwhite's PPE requirements include 
White with silver reflective cotton drill pants. White with silver reflective long sleeve shirt, jumper or jacket. And remember, lights on, whites on. At the commencement of shuttle flow treatment, all traffic controllers are on stop. Traffic controller shall direct either northbound or southbound controller to send first flow of traffic. Clear to send. Sending traffic. Copy. Last vehicle 573. Received 573. Clear to send. Sending traffic. Last vehicle 606. If deemed necessary, or in case radio communication has static, reply, please confirm. If a problem occurs, place all traffic on stop until it is deemed safe to continue the flow. Minimal words make clearer instructions and ensure there is no confusion. In an emergency, use the call sign, emergency, 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 and put everything on stop. Ensure you give police, fire, ambulance and the SES right of way to all vehicles. Preach the three C's for good radio comms. Clear, concise and calm. Safety is a priority for you and the public. So remember the following. Never turn your back to the traffic. Never stop traffic using your hand. You must only ever use a stop slow bat. Whilst holding out the stop slow bat, wait for two vehicles, ensuring they're stopping before stepping out onto the road. Always leave your bat on stop until you have safely left the roadway. Then turn your bat to slow to release traffic by sweeping hand movements. Never release traffic until you are absolutely sure the road is clear of oncoming traffic. Maintain clear radio contact at all times and never send traffic through if you are unsure of radio communications. Wear the correct personal protective equipment at all times. And always make sure you have an escape path. 